Hello my lovelies, it's Natasha, your relationship helper with another brand spank new video for you to enjoy and today's video is all about catfishing. Now I'll be frank, put my hands up and say I've never been catfished but a lot of you have written to me and asked Natasha, how do I know if I'm being catfished? It breaks my heart to say that a lot of my friends have indeed been catfished and really hurt by the whole experience. And these are grown men and grown women just like you. Let me start off by saying it is easily done and you are not a fool if you've been a victim to it. In fact, the person who's been a little troll behind the screen who's playing with your heart, feelings and wasting your time is the chump in the entire equation and needs to be banned from social media in my opinion. I rant over. Okay, so you can connect with someone and you can like them, but they are being a bit shady and you aren't sure if you're being catfished or not. So here are my five top tips to figure out if you are being catfished or not. Number one, I'm a huge believer in communication, so make sure that you Skype them, you FaceTime them, or you even talk to them face-to-face -face via WhatsApp. If they refuse or don't get on board with the idea, then my darling, your alarm bell should be ringing and going into overdrive. Number two, do they speak English or your common language? And do they make coherent sense? There are people online who are there to set up fake profiles and try and find their way around GPS programs and anything else that they can overcome to try and trick you. If they speak the sort of English that makes your school teachers concerned, then they might not really be from where they say you think they are. So don't be judgmental of someone's use of language, but do bear in mind it could be in kind of indication for you and for others that they are telling you a bit of a story and it may not be the truth. Okay, now a few people know this, but I am like an MI5 agent when it comes to finding out information. The best part is when I hear it from others and impart my wisdom onto others as well. So brace yourselves for the next piece of info. Google reverse image search. Now this is probably the most valuable tool for catching out a catfish. Most of you are gonna hate me for this, but a lot of you will appreciate me in the long term. If you think someone's photo could be fake, then there is a way to check if they've copied it from somewhere else. Now all you need to do is right click their photo, copy the URL and paste it into a box at the images.google.com. Google then searches to see if the image has cropped up anywhere else. If it hasn't, put some of their other photos through the search to be careful and also on the safe side I suppose. Also keep in mind, and this is very important, that Instagram images are not indexed by Google. So try asking for photos that don't appear to be for Instagram just in case and to keep yourself on the clear and narrow. Now another thing you need to be very cautious of, and this is number four, if they are asking you for money. Now guys and girls, we've all had the dodgy emails, but if you've met someone online and they ask you for money, darling, run for the hills. We have all seen the messages, send me a million pounds, I will send you a billion, give me your bank details. No, no, and no. You will thank me in the long term. If they use a profile picture of Angelina Jolie or Brad Pitt, let me tell you for the record, it is not them. So even though they may be their number one fan, it's not them. Well, I hope that these five pointers have been helpful and useful to you all. Dating can be daunting, can be tough, it's rough, and also it's heartbreaking. I'm not gonna deny it. And it can also be difficult to figure out the wheat from the chaff when you're kind of deciding who you want to date. But with me by your side, nothing will be difficult for you to overcome. If you like what you saw, be sure to share this video, like, subscribe to the channel, follow me on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and I'll see you right back here very soon. Sayonara for now.